Hey, y'all. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Honey, y'all see the thumbnail. Baby, when I tell y'all, honey, I'm going to be reacting to Every Day with Wood. He takes on the zoo and urban air. Solo dolo, honey. Now, that's one thing I have always said. I feel like overall, regardless of how he may be a deadbeat husband or not want to be with Peach with the patches, but he sticks around for the children and that smile bag. But anyway, he handles those kids way better than she does. <laughs> I got tickled. Wood, bless his heart, he was panning that camera around constantly down there to the zoo. And all the kids were accounted for. You know, this kid was over here. This kid wanted to go see Wild to the Tiger. Honey, I was in the flow. And my guy, baby, baby, he running the show as per usual, running around. Now, I don't know if anybody noticed. I watched the video twice, but he's talking better. He said alligator better than hell. The older kids can speak. Y'all go back and watch it if you didn't watch it. He it was very much vocal and using his words and everything. And honey, <laughs> Wood must have had to tote the baby around and let baby baby get in the stroller. Baby baby said, honey, my ankles and legs are tied. I have been running around this zoo for the last two hours. Me and my brother, we're going to have to swap places. And then the next scene, honey, baby baby was pushing <laughs> the baby around. And we all know we have watched him do this before. He is a little man. Two years old going on 12. But anyway, Wood said the baby don't want Wanda for pushing him. Honey, I was in the flow because he just don't know what kind of danger he was in. Because <laughs> baby, baby was all over the place down there, y'all. Y'all drop down in the comments. I saw a few of my subscribers over there in the comments, honey. But anyway, I don't care what Peach with the Patches get down to this YouTube and say Daddy has not put that red cup down. You can't tell me when that man left that zoo that day, honey, he went and pulled him one straight, not straight, straight with no chaser, baby. Because, honey, my nerves was tore up watching them rip and run around, the kids everywhere. But he did a good job overall, like I said, making sure everybody was accounted for, everybody got to see what they wanted to see. Now, on to the urban air child. So, they, you know, they get in, they got their little passes for a pizza and icy or whatever. So everybody having fun, jumping around, doing their normal thing, honey. <laughs> baby, baby running around. Everybody, you know, they have a good, they really enjoy that. That's one place I can tell that they really enjoy. They seem to have more fun there than they do down to the Disney, in my opinion. Honey, <laughs> one of them scenes, daddy must have said, I'm going out to the van to get his stroller out. I'm tired of holding him. Child, <laughs> I was in the flow. He should be thriving. I don't know what it's called in Florida, but in Tennessee, it's called Tennessee Early Intervention Services. He really needs to be evaluated because he is not thriving. He's not reaching those milestones for his age, in my opinion. But that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother time. So we move on down to the cafe, honey. The kids getting their pizza and everything. Of course, baby, baby was standing up eating his pizza dropping food everywhere. Now, I'm going to tell you something that happened. Gorgeous. It's older than them. Honey, she must have been stepping on them seats and then crawled over the seat and went to the next one. I said, now, Daddy, are you going to say something? Are you going to correct them? He never did. Honey, they was running a buck, like I always say, stepping on chairs and uh, walking on tables and dropping food everywhere. I think he kind of is a little passive when it comes to those kids. He's definitely not the disciplinary one in the household. Hell, from the looks of it, she ain't either. Having seven children, trying to make sure everybody is accounted for, honey, it's got me stressed, impressed. If y'all want to walk out over the tables and walk out over these people's uh, furniture, by all means, go for it. As long as everybody stay together and as long as I got seven children when I get ready to head out the door and get in that van, honey. Speaking of the van, did they come and get that old thing yet? Because if they did, how in the world did he Uber corral all those kids 
in that soccer mom SUV. I'm starting to think that van is still there because all those kids cannot fit in that truck nor that soccer mom SUV. But anyway, that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother time. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know that you see Wood Takes on the Zoo and the Urban Air Solo Dolo and hit a like for your girl.